Hi everyone, how are you doing? I'm just going to be answering a couple of questions uh, that have been sent in, uh, all to do with uh, content this time, okay? Because I'm trying to sort of group them in together um, and do different categories at a time. So this is all about content and future content and a couple of people have asked what the future is. So first question that's come in is, um, what is the future of Messy World after you have gone? Uh, so basically, um, uh, a rotation there's always been a rotation of producers um, you can tell uh, which producers do which things uh, because I always have a bit of a wrestle where I try and keep it uh, just fun and comedic you've probably noticed that that I just like the sort of more fun humorous element of it uh, other producers they tend to go a little bit more sort of pushing the envelope and you can see with the outfits and I have this sort of battle this constant battle of trying to keep the site uh, quite tame and uh, Meant to be a bit, of, a bit of a laugh versus <laughs> some that want to sort of seem to go out a little bit more uh, kind of risque, I guess. Um, but yeah, so there's always been a rotation of, of producers in that respect, but there is a, a bigger rotation of producers now that are going to carry on. Um, but I obviously have produced uh, content up until the end of May 2025, so there is loads of content that I've produced. I thought I'd go out with a bang. It's, it's the best content that we've ever made, so it's going to be really good. Um, another question is, what content coming up have you worked on for Messy World? Any spoilers you can provide? So basically, um, I've uh, produced uh, most of it, as I say, up until uh, May 2025. Some of it with assistant producers as well. Um, and basically, the main things... I would say we're obviously the plunger which is going to go out on the last friday of every month until the end of may 2025 and also i worked on a uh, show called the escape room which was an escape room obviously uh which ha has a real sort of predicament uh angle to it um and you have to sort of you know, the contestants go in and there's all sorts basically the you go in there's the only way to get out of the cage is you have to shout the four digit combination code to the to the lock to get the four digit combination code the numbers are in different safes up on the wall and to get the keys to those safes obviously there's lots of different things so one of them was buried inside a, a toilet uh, which was obviously filled with slime and you ha you can only retrieve it with your teeth. Um, what sort of nut job comes up with this sort of stuff? Seriously. It's just unreal, isn't it? Um, I think I need to be sectioned, quite frankly. Um, there was also there's another one like in a big barrel. You have to get in there and obviously there's stuff falling on you from above. Um, then there's the pie, <laughs> the pie thing where one of the digits is on the... is sellotaped to... Um, a plate a paper plate and they obviously have foam uh, on the top and the only way you're allowed to uh, knock the foam off is with your face <laughs> so yeah it's really kind of I don't, I don't know I don't know what's going through my head quite frankly it's quite worrying um, it's really good though it makes really good viewing even I don't particularly like messy content and I don't like slapstick I just I have nothing doesn't absolutely nothing for me but I actually enjoyed watching the escape room back just because I thought it was actually quite entertaining and very very funny so that's worth a watch and then we've got loads of other sort of games and stuff going on there's a few quizzes and things and I hate the quizzes you probably know and I hate the booth thing I just find that so boring to film but I know it's quite popular so we've kind of we've done a few like that as well um, so that's, yeah, so there's quite a bit coming up. Um, uh, why are you quitting Messy World? Um, okay, how honest do I be? Uh, <laughs> so, I'm not into the type of content. Uh, that's the truth. I, it's, I would never, I would never view that kind of thing. It's, it's not my bag. I, I like, my passion is drama and storytelling. Um, it's just happened. This, this job just presented itself to me and I took it on after much, much hesitation. 
Uh, it was all by accident and all by chance. And I quite enjoyed it. It was good. It was, you know, it was very creative. Um, coming up with effects and coming up with the contraptions and obviously working with loads and loads of people who are all up for a laugh. Um, however, two months after releasing The Plunger, I just completely lost all interest and I've never got that passion back. And I think it's an insult that the subscribers of the site deserve the best content. They, des they deserve the sort of content that you'd come to expect from, from Messy World. And I know that some of the content that went out earlier this year, I am not proud of. I just, the, the lighting wasn't, wasn't great. The sound quality hasn't been great. And that's to do with me, that falls on me because the, I just wasn't, my mind was elsewhere. Um, and I just thought, do you know what? If, if I was, basically I'm sacking myself. I was thinking if this, if, if, I, if I don't think I can deliver, then I don't think I should be doing the job. So that's kind of why I'm stepping away. And also it just started to grate on me a little bit. I just wasn't feeling anything. Um, and it, it become really tough. So, and I, you know, you, the, 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 another thing that's a little bit difficult is that when you do something like this, you don't really get a lot of engagement or a lot of feedback. I think because of a, lo a lot of people, even though what we do is very tame and we try and keep it, you know, just for entertainment, albeit you have to be over 18, obviously, because of the, the connotations. But um, for me, because it's just entertainment, you just, you, you kind of, you sort of forget about that part of it. Um, but because of that part of it, I, you don't get much feedback unless people don't like something. And you'd always have... The comments of oh it's a shame she was wearing socks or shame he had shoes on or something like that and you, you know, just it got to a point where I thought you know I can't do this anymore I just can't do this anymore I've got to step away um, and yeah and that's the reason so I'm handing over to uh, producers who I know can 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 create really good content uh, so that would be that's going to be really good so that's fine so um, and the next question is, did you enjoy being a producer and model? Uh, yes, I did. I did. I very much enjoyed making the contraptions uh, and coming up with the ideas, writing some of the sketches. And I enjoyed modelling. I mean, modelling was a mistake. I, it was not. It was never meant to happen. Um, we had uh, Michaela Anderson was the host of the guys site as well as the girls for a while. And the guys, it turned out, preferred a male host, I guess, again, again, this is the, see, this is what I don't think because I just see it as entertainment and nothing else. But obviously because of the uh, extra part of it, um, they wanted a guy. So I temporarily stepped in while we could find somebody permanent. And then COVID hit. And it was a disaster because we just started the mail uh, service and I had to put myself in the very center. Um, and I think it, I think I found it quite difficult in the end. Um, so I did enjoy, I've, I've loved doing the customs. I didn't particularly like being a, a, a model for messy world though just because it was too full-on it was I keep producing modeling and everything else I just didn't work and I used to find it a bit difficult um, so but that's not to say that I didn't enjoy it so hopefully that's kind of diplomatic answer um, uh, next question uh, someone is be, says they're being cheeky with two questions um, the first is how much guns does it take for the plunger uh, so it, uh, it's the actual round figure is 3,070 litres. And the reason we add the extra 70 litres on, which is an extra seven buckets, we have a, a little uh, guide on the bottom of the ramp where the scaffold it is. Um, and with the camera that's at the very, very front, if you don't fill it to that level, it looks like it's empty only on the very front camera because obviously it's looking at a, like a very specific angle. So you just see the pool, but you don't see the products in it. So in order to show that it's actually filled with guns, we've had to fill it to that level. And that's 3,070 litres to get it to, to look good. So that's why we go for that. And I will say for the first two plungers, I filled every bucket by hand. 
which took me two days, two and a half days, sorry, two and a half days to fill the plunger. So there we go. Um, yeah, challenging. Um, the next question that he asks is, have you had any uh, people that hated getting messy? Um, no, no one's ever hated it. I think because obviously we don't approach people. We don't, we don't ever contact people to be part of it. We put out casting calls and basically people have to come to us. And we do that very deliberately because we don't want to sort of harass anybody or, or you know, invade anybody's sort of personal space. So uh, when people obviously apply, it means that they are automatically up for doing something like that. So, you know, no one's ever going to hate it because they know what they're signing up for. Um, the only thing that has happened is that a couple of people, I think, have got a bit of stage fright. Um, and when they came into the studio, when you get into the studio, um, it's very big. Uh, there's it's sort of very high ceilings. There's big stage curtains and trussing and these massive great overhead lights and cameras on like tracking and microphones hanging down everywhere. Right, It's all happening. And there's people running about it's just chaos and I think that can be quite intimidating if you've never really done anything like that before and we have had a couple of people that have definitely got very anxious beforehand and very nervous and we've had to sort of uh, it was not so much with the getting that they were fine with the getting messy but it, it was um, more sort of like the, the talking bits and the, the, the quiz or the, uh, the interviews or something like that so um, yeah apart from that no I think everybody's pretty much really loved doing it and everyone always says that once once you've appeared on messy world you can't really it's really difficult to go back to other sort of modeling because you, we do think we tend to do things big you know um and they all say that it's just never the same they just you, you, you can't really go back to just filming content yourself or or doing other things it's it's uh, so which is, a, which is a really nice compliment that's that's a really nice thing to hear because obviously means that we are making an impact which is nice um and uh the next question is what's the best uh, thing about working for messy world um do you know what i think the best thing about working for messy world is is that everybody who comes into the studio um they all come in, every, every actor, every model, although they would deny it, are kind of competing with each other. It's just a fact. Even if you're really good friends with somebody, you're still kind of competing for your share of the market. And a lot of them would, would probably deny that, as I say, but it's true. And of course, there's a bit of competitiveness in there anyway. And you know what? Before long, you see everything crumble. You do, they, for, they become in the moment and nothing matters. We have people uh, contact us quite often and say, uh, I've got, you know, half a million followers on social media. Uh, you know, I'm an influencer. I, I can come and be on your site. And you know what? Every time it's like, I don't care. We're going to change your name. It, we're not in that doesn't mean you're going to be good on the show you could have millions and millions of followers but but you might be rubbish on messy world because it, it takes a totally different mentality and a totally different type of character um and you do see that when you're when you're there filming a messy world it, it you see performers just for that moment, it doesn't matter whether you've got one follower or a million followers because you're just there, you're just covered in mess and you're just in that moment at that time and it's really nice to see and you see people come out of their shell, you know, people who are usually, you know, trying to, to, to maintain a, a sort of fake image because as you know, everything on social media is fake and they come in and they show that fake image and they have that kind of a little bit of ego kind of thing because you have to be, and that's not criticizing, that's, you do have to be like that if you're a performer. And they come in with that ego and you just see that fall apart. And I, it's not just rewarding for me, I think that's really healthy for them. 
and you just see them suddenly not care about anything. It doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter about what you look like or what you're wearing or what your, how your hair looks or your makeup. It doesn't matter what your followers think because you're just living in that moment and it's really, really nice to see. Um, and that's what we want. You know, we don't want, we don't, we're not interested, as I say, in models who've got loads and loads of followers and have done all these stuff because we, when they come on Messy World, what I like is the fact that a performer who has 500,000 followers or whatever, when they're at Messy World, they could be your next door neighbour. They just become somebody. And that, again, is really nice and why it's, uh, why it's quite rewarding. So, uh, yeah, that's probably the best. And just meeting people. Every, as I say, once, once you knock down those barriers uh, and they've got covered in guns or whatever, um, finally, you just see them who they are. And Messy World is a great springboard in finding talent. And I've, um, I spot them straight away. I, I know if I work with you on another product, uh, product, product, no, if I work with you on another project outside of Messy World, it means I've been really, really impressed with you. You've, you've caught my attention. Um, and it's Messy World is a great place to recruit talent to work on other, other things, other, you know, th whether it's theatre or films or whatever. Um, when I, uh, the, the performer that plays Selena Schofield, for example, the moment I saw her, she came in, she introduced herself, and she was going to be a contestant on The Plunger. And within about 10 minutes, I knew that I'd be making a film with her. I just was like, I am going to be making a film with this woman. And within about an hour, I'd already made the decision, she had no idea, but I'd already made the decision that she was going to be a presenter on Messy World. I wanted her as a host. Um, so massive compliment to her. Uh, obviously Jenny Strider the same, I just, I just thought yes you've got, you've got presenter capabilities. Um, and uh, yeah all of the, all of the presenters obviously I've had that, that, that kind of, um, that view of. Uh, and yeah, it's been great. And, and, and obviously Catherine Vasi as well. Uh, again, she's just very hard working and I just thought, yeah, you've got what it takes. To do it. And, and all of them I've worked on other, other projects on as well. So um, it kind of shows that every now and again I do meet somebody and I think, yeah, you, you're bigger than this. We're going to move on to something bigger. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. So uh, yeah, thanks for the, the questions. I hope I've answered them okay. Um, if you have any more, please send them. It's at Dan Ashley UK on whatever social media platform uh, that you use. You could also send them into the, the website's official branded social media accounts as well, which are at Messy World Girls or at Messy World Guys. Uh, the next batch of questions I'll probably make about modeling. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, and don't forget, my final show, if you're interested in, in Callum, my character on Messy World, my final show is going out on December the 20th, officially. There is something else going out on New Year's Eve as well. And uh, it's hideous because uh, for the first time ever, it's me. I'm fine if I'm performing, as because Cal Callum's obviously fake, he doesn't exist. He's, a, he's, a, he's an act. And I'm totally confident. I, don't, I can't be humiliated. It doesn't matter what happens. I can't. I don't care because it's happening to Callum. It's not happening to me. And we did an interview on the plunger with me out of character, and it was. I just cringe all the way through it. Uh, but um, it's out on New Year's Eve, and it is quite. Uh, it's. It's. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. We're going to have a giant dessert. So keep an eye on that. Um, and watch the plunger that goes wrong as well. Hilarious. Really, really funny. Right, guys, thank you very much for sending in your questions. Uh, and thank you so much for subscribing to uh, messyworld.net uh, or buying the videos online. Uh, it's really important. And, and don't forget that every sale that happens, we, we put that back into the site. It's not all just sort of like, we'll take this away and, and 
you know have a holiday we, we really invest that back in the content so thanks very much for being part it's your site it's not our site it's very much your site and we try to cater to your uh, interest as best we can so thanks very much for that and as i say thanks for sending in your questions really appreciate it um yeah have a great week and i'll catch you again very very soon <laughs>